on to the first stop um, at the NWT was at Lake Winnebago. Um, going into it, um, we had a lot of things on our mind. We didn't have much time. Obviously, Red Wing was canceled. We only had a few weeks to switch gears uh, and get going. So, one, we knew we wanted to troll some. We didn't know if we were gonna troll cranks or spinners. And then we knew that there's gonna be the uh, flies. Um, that guys are going to use and then obviously jigging or pitching jigs um, was going to be another part of it. So um, getting out there, um, we were going to try to tr have all three of those avenues. Um, we started out trolling, um, caught a few fish in the beginning, didn't really know what was going on and then I kind of went back to stuff that I know. I like to jig and pitch jigs um, a lot more so that's what I ended up doing for the next three or four days. Um, was pitching jigs. I would find these rock humps and I would go right over the top of them and I would catch fish. Um, it was a lot of the same fish that the trollers were getting, but I thought every once in a while I would pick out a big one. So I thought if I get a big one or two each day and then same weight, I'd be all right. Um, so that's kind of what I settled on. Mike, on the other hand, was catching them trolling, you know, so he was getting us, he was getting us dialed in on that trolling. Um, so that was good. You know, we were just constantly trying different things to see what we had to do to get it done. Yo, let's go through the go. All right, guys, it's uh, day one of the National Walleye Tour, first stop of the year, so you're always nervous. You're just trying to hopefully make the right decisions to get off to a good start to the year, you know? Um, there's a lot of things going different in this system, so we'll see what shakes down, but uh, we'll be a little trolling little pitching jigs, little slip bobber, and we'll see what ends up catching them for us. But you're always nervous. You never know what's gonna happen out there. You get that empty feeling in your stomach. It's the best thing ever. So day one going in um, was really nervous. Obviously it's the first event you wanna do well. You wanna get it off to a good start for the year. Um, I ended up trolling uh, first, and I can't really believe that I did that, but I did. I made one pass maybe one and a half passes and I gave up on it and I went back to what I knew. I knew that pitching thing was going to happen. Um, first day we probably caught, you know, I don't know, 15 fish or so. Um, I wasn't getting real big numbers but that helped me and I didn't have to worry about culling as much. Obviously we couldn't cull. It, it was just easier so that I could select the right fish. Um, I had my target weight that we were going to weigh those fish and if it hit it we would keep it. Um, so I knew if I didn't go through huge numbers, I wouldn't really be worried about that as much. So um, that helped me on day one. I ended up getting a big fish. It was a 24, 25 incher. Uh, gave me a good start. I had like 13, 7, 5 for the first day, um, sitting in 31st place. It was obviously super tight um, between first place and 100th place. It was so tight. It was unreal. All right, guys, all we're doing basically is just crashing these humps. We're driving right over the top of them, trying to get these fish to get aggressive. It's a little slower today. Um, hopefully, we can keep grinding them out. We got three in the boat right now. It's about, I don't know, 10.30, 10 o'clock, so we got plenty of time. Uh, hopefully, we can figure it out and go from there. We'll see you guys later. This is Drake Hurd, along with John Grant Jr. from Bemidji, Minnesota, his co-angler. Looks like these guys found themselves a limited fish as well. I think there was a pile of fish caught on the Winnebago system today. That's what it's looking like to me. And that looks like a pile of fish there. John, was it a good day? Yeah, it was a great day out there. All right, Drake, let's let it settle in here and find out where we're at. 13.73, 13.73 for your weight. Gonna get you into the 17th right now, so that's good. I wish we would have done a little more footage at where we were staying. We were staying at uh, Mr. Bluegill, Troy Peterson's house. Um, Brock and I actually had an epiphany when we were driving back that we should have did an MTV Cribs uh, episode out of it because I brought my ice castle down, which is a great place to stay. Me, my dad, uh, Jack, and Brock um, all stayed there. And then Troy had a camper set up behind his house where Robert, 
Brett, Aaron, and Mike all stayed. So it worked out super well. We had a great time. Troy, you guys, if you ever get out there to fish with him, great guy, knows it, knows his stuff. Um, and then, you know, the food and everything was great. We got to go to uh, Hoo Hot um, one night, and then we cooked a lot. We grilled out fish, we grilled steaks, we grilled just about anything, brats, whatever else you could think of. Um, so it was a great time while we were there. Guys, we're going out for day two. Um, obviously, you can see that the weather changed drastically. We've got a big east wind. Uh, it's cold. It's only going to be like 39, 40 degrees today. Um, so hopefully that doesn't change the fishing too much, but generally it does, and definitely in the spring. So uh, we're going to go out there, do the same thing for at least for the first half of the day, and hopefully we can pluck away, get a few here and there, and uh, come in with another decent bag. Obviously, it's super tight right now. You know, 17 pounds is leading it and 11 or 12 pounds is like 90th place. So you gotta imagine how tight we are in, in this uh, race. So we'll see what shakes down. Um, we'll give it our all. Uh, we gotta run in the boat today and uh, see if we can't do some damage. Then going into day two, huge weather change. Um, we knew that that was gonna affect the bite drastically. Um, wind was out of the west the first day. We got a huge east wind. Uh, temp dropped 30 degrees and I knew it was going to be a tough bite. Um, water got dirty. I mean, it was nasty. It was raining out there. It was nasty. I haven't fished in that bad of weather too often, um, but we had to get it done. So um, first spot I pulled up on, nice reef, got a fish, um, and then we proceeded to have a little lull. Um, and then we would pick up another fish. We'd try four or five reefs, and then we'd pick up another one. The second day, we only ended up catching six fish. Um, for like 11.88 or something like that. It was enough to get it done. We didn't get our big kicker fish that, uh, that we needed to really jump up there, um, but I was happy. We ended up in tw uh, 26th place, cashing a check, my first check at the NWT at the pro level. Um, so I was super excited about that. Obviously, um, it, it gives you a big boost of confidence that you know what you're doing, uh, hopefully going into these next events now. You know, one of the things after I left um, was that they were very big on us bleaching our boats after we left, and obviously because of that VHS. That was kind of unreal. I'd never seen that up, and, up front and personal, and Robert will talk a little bit more about that, but there was dead fish everywhere. It was kind of unreal. Um, so obviously we don't want to spread that, so we bleached our boats at the end. Uh, of the tournament and everything. So Robert will cover more of that uh, on his tidbit. Hey guys, pre-fishing here and we just noticed like a, a ton of dead fish in the water. And um, I guess what happened is, is we did a little research and they have VHS, which is a viral hemorrhagic septicemia, it's like a disease that affects the fish. Um, it causes them to bleed out, bloat, bulging eyes, all that kind of stuff. But one of the things to help prevent that um, on other lakes, granted this lake's been affected I think since 2006, um, is getting the, you know, cleaning your live wells out, taking the weeds off your boat, um, you know, just doing a really good job about that. We need to help prevent this from getting to other lakes. So I ended up 26th place. Um, Robert, I believe, was top 50. Um, it was Mike's first event. He struggled a little bit more. Um, but I think he learned a lot. Obviously, this is only my sophomore year per se. Um, so I learned a lot and I should have showed, told him more about it, but he learned a lot. He now trusts himself a lot more, I think, and it'll help him out in the future. So we're hoping, we're looking forward to Saginaw Bay, uh, getting out there and hopefully doing all three of us doing some damage in that one. Guys, I hope you loved our video. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the YouTube video. Um, otherwise, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for exclusive content um, so that you guys can check it out and follow us all year on tour. Next stop will be Saginaw Bay. We'll see you there.